Pluto the planet of power, money, control, death, destruction, secrets, betrayal, rebirth, and transformation enters Aquarius on January 20th, 2024. And while Pluto will retreat back into Capricorn once more in September, this ingress could set the tone for themes that might develop over Pluto's 20-year transit in this sign. This is a period of time that could be similar to what was going on in the late 1700s, where in many countries on a mundane level, there were revolutions establishing independence and new rules to preserve individual rights and freedom. Now what could this mean for us as individuals? Well a lot can happen. Transformation, growth, authenticity, and innovation are all themes of Pluto and Aquarius. I'm going to talk about the general themes by rising sign. Note that the impact of this transit can show up in areas other than your Aquarius house if Pluto makes contact with one of your planets by conjunction, square, opposition, or even trine or sextile. If you are interested in exploring what it could mean for you based on your birth chart, you can always contact me for a private consultation. Let's start with Aquarius. If you're an Aquarius rising, this is happening in your first house. You can expect a transformation in your sense of self and identity. You may feel a desire to break free from societal conventions and really embrace your own unique individuality. This could lead to profound changes in your personal relationships and your outlook on life. Ultimately, this transit could provide a deep sense of empowerment and liberation. For those of you with Capricorn rising, this is happening in your second house. You could see significant changes in your financial and material resources. You might encounter unexpected expenses or large amounts of money, leading to self-discovery and empowerment. Be careful as potential power struggles with others over money could arise. You may find yourself inclined towards innovative or modern ways of earning money and managing finances. For Sagittarius rising, this is happening in your third house. You may see significant changes in your communication and thought processes. There might be a strong urge to delve deeper into intellectual and philosophical subjects. Intense conversations challenging your beliefs could arise. You might experience power struggles or conflicts in relationships with siblings or neighbors. Hidden issues of communication and self-expression could be brought to light. For Scorpio rising, this is happening in your fourth house. You could experience difficulties in your home life and family dynamics. There might be an upheaval or transformation within the household, redefining your sense of security and roots. You might feel a desire to break free from traditional ways of living and explore unconventional ideas and lifestyles. You may find yourself in intense introspection, facing deep-seated fears and desires. For Libra Rising, this is happening in your fifth house. Transformations could occur in your self-expression, creativity, and relationships with children or your inner child. You might confront deep-seated fears or desires related to self-expression, sexuality, and creative outlets. This could be a time for exploring new ways of experiencing love, pleasure, and personal power. For Virgo rising, this is happening in your sixth house. You could experience significant changes in your daily work routine and health habits. You might feel a strong desire to break free from old patterns and adopt a new approach. This might lead to a more independent or unconventional work style. You could take on more responsibility and leadership in your job. You might spend a lot of time analyzing and improving your physical and mental health. For Leo rising, this is happening in your seventh house. You could go through major transformations in your relationships and partnerships. There might be a transformation in how you approach connections with others. This could result in ending unhealthy relationships. You may find this transit encourages a deeper understanding of your own individuality and the importance of being authentic in partnerships. This could be a time of intense self-reflection and growth in relation to your relationships. For Cancer Rising, this is happening in your eighth house. You could experience big changes in areas related to shared resources, intimacy, and power dynamics. You might find yourself exploring your psychological and spiritual depths. Approach these changes with an open mind and a willingness to let go of old patterns and beliefs. Aim to come out of this experience stronger and more empowered than before. For Gemini rising, this is happening in your ninth house. You could go through transformative changes in your beliefs and worldview. You might feel a deep desire to explore unconventional and cutting edge topics. This could be a time of intense intellectual growth and seeking higher knowledge. 
You may face power struggles and a need to confront and transform limiting beliefs or dogmas. For Taurus rising, this is happening in your 10th house. You could transform your career goals and public image. You might feel a desire to break free from traditional career paths. This could be a time to establish yourself as a leader or challenge power structures. You may find that you have a deep sense of purpose and drive for success in the public sphere. For Aries rising, this is happening in your 11th house. You could experience changes in your social networks and community involvement. You might feel an urge to join groups or organizations that align with your beliefs and values. Be careful as potential power struggles and intense interpersonal dynamics could arise. However, this could also be an opportunity for deep healing and growth in your connections with others. Finally, we have Pisces. For Pisces rising, this is happening in your 12th house. You could undergo an intense transformation and spiritual growth. Hidden fears and subconscious patterns could be brought to the surface. You might gain a deeper understanding of yourself. You might feel an urge to reject societal expectations and assert your personal uniqueness. Remember, it's important to confront your inner demons for inner peace and empowerment. Remember, these changes will happen gradually over the next 20 years. So be patient, stay open, and enjoy the journey of transformation.